Hi, I'm Kronos, and today we're going to walk through creating and securing a BitShares wallet. This is very easy with the tools available at BitShares.org. BitShares has a neat referral system, which allows you to name another user when you create an account, and that user receives a small portion of the fees you spend when you're using the platform. Of course, I've provided my link below the video if you'd like to name me as the referrer, but that's not necessary. You can also sign up without a referrer. Let's get started. Here we are at the BitShares web wallet at bitshares.org slash wallet. The rest of the URL is entirely optional. The question mark R equals Kronos YouTube. This is the referrer information to name me as the referrer on this new wallet. If you want this URL, you can find it in the video description, but that is not necessary. You can simply browse to bitshares.org slash wallet to create your new BitShares account. Next, you'll need to enter an account name, and you can see it says public here. This is a public name. If you want to receive BitShares or another token, you'll need to provide this account name in order for the sender to name you as the recipient. A typical name like this is actually considered a premium name, so I'd recommend making one of the small changes that makes it free, because who wants to spend money if they don't have to? The red text here shows what you can do. Either add a dash or a number or take out all the vowels to make it a free account. Taking out all the vowels would be pretty restrictive, so let's just add a number to the end of the account. Next, we need to pick a password for the account, and this password is used whenever you transact on it, for example, whenever you send BitShares or issue a trade. The password is also used to encrypt the file that is the backup of the account, so you'll want to make it long and difficult to guess. Once that's done, click Create Account. All right, now we're going to see the power of the BitShare security system. In one click, you can create a backup of the account, which I highly recommend, and then click Download. This will download a file to your computer that you can use to back up the account. And after that's done, you can click one of these options to get started. When you're working with that backup file, you have to balance the risks of losing it and potentially losing your BitShares account and making it too accessible and risk having it stolen. One option that I like is to email it to yourself because that means if you lose your computer, you can always access your email and download it again to recover your funds. Remember, it's encrypted by the password you chose when you set up the account. So as long as you keep that password difficult to guess, maybe write it down and keep it somewhere in your house, even someone who accesses your email can't access your funds without having the password as well. Let's say that you did lose your computer and you want to recover your account now. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here we are at the BitShares web wallet again at bitshares.org wallet, but this time we're going to recover the wallet using the file we downloaded earlier. Simply click at the bottom of the screen, Restore Wallet from Backup. Now we choose the file from our computer that we downloaded. Next, you'll need to enter the password that you chose when you first set up the account. And click Submit. Oh, I typed it wrong. Let's try one more time. There we go, the password was accepted. Simply click Restore to bring the wallet back online. You can see it says Successfully Restored. Now, we can see Kronos 5 in the upper right of the screen, which means we've recovered that account. That's all it takes to create an account in the BitShares platform. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos, thanks for watching.